This is cycle two, week 24 science. Yay, you did it. Another cycle uh, is in the history books. It's a good time to pause for a minute before we talk a little bit about um, this outdoor contest um, and, and just remind ourselves of what we're doing. Uh, it's always good to look back and to reflect um, on what we've done, what we've accomplished, what we would do differently, um, to take strength and, and encouragement and just to be aware just to be aware of our lives. And then when we start a new cycle, when we start a new year, a new task, it's always good to think about where we want to end. Um, and so now we are at the end. Uh, and, and what I, I hope this, um, this cycle has been for you is a good journey and, and a good experience doing science, um, getting your own hands into God's creation, increasing your own knowledge about God's creation, um, and, and instilling in your students this love of learning and this love uh, of science. Everybody knows that um, Classical Conversations tutors do it for the fame and the money. Everybody knows that Classical Conversations tutors uh, do this uh, out of a deep love of learning for themselves and out of a deep love uh, of teaching other people. It's really, in my opinion, it, it, it's really an outgrowth of your love for your own students that you homeschool and your willingness to share that love and that experience and that talent uh, with other families. Um, and, and I know that, that many families have been blessed by the work that you have done this year. And so I just want to take a second and just say congratulations. Uh, you've done a good job. I, I know and, and I hear in some of the comments that science is difficult, science is intimidating, science is hard. Some, some people have even said I could never do science uh, without these videos or without this help. And I just want to remind you that that's just not true, that, that you have done it. Um, that your own knowledge has grown and increased, maybe. Um, maybe just different ways of talking about these things um, have happened. Maybe just, you know, you've rekindled a little bit of that love uh, for science because science is often messy. It doesn't always go the way we want. Um, sometimes the, it's because, you know, things that are, were just designed wrong, we didn't do it right. Sometimes, you know, outside variables just impact the experiment. And that's real life for real scientists. Um, and so I have a, a deep desire to understand how the world works. I have a deep desire um, and love of science. It's my passion. It's my profession. And so it's been a lot of fun uh, doing these videos for Cycle 2. And I hope that you've had fun uh, more than anything uh, as we've um, gone through uh, this CC Cycle uh, science videos together. Um, I, I do. I, I want to remind you now that as we're, as we're ending the, the, the Cycle 2, as we're getting ready to do uh, Week 24, um, just encourage your kids. Uh, remind them that God has made this world. He has made this universe, that, that God is eternal and he is omniscient. He is uh, omnipotent, um, that, that he is, he is uh, our loving spiritual father uh, and that his mind and his reason have created this universe and that he, he gave us the ability to reason and to understand uh, and that we can understand the laws that he has made. We can understand how the world works if we will spend the energy and the time um, in order to do it. And that one of the best ways to do that is to do it with our own two hands that God has made, just to get in and to have fun and to explore and to, to experiment and, and to see what's working. Um, it, it's just, it's just a, a lot of fun. And I hope that it has been um, for you. All right. Uh, week 24, we are uh, in this, uh, this experiment, we're really going back and we're, we're having this outdoor com uh, contest, or this outdoor competition. We're going to take the airplanes that we've made and we're going to see which ones can fall the fa uh, fly the farthest. We're going to take our egg um, protectors and we're going to see which one does the best job. Um, we're going to look at our bridges that have been made and see which one can support the most load. Uh, we're going to talk about the tallest tower that can be made with a given number of, of building blocks whatever the format and the specific structure that your campus is going to use. We're going to summarize these last five experiments um, in, in this week. Um, so I think it's a good opportunity to talk to our kids just about competition and about life skills. And, and remember that when we're educating our kids, we're certainly trying to teach them basic facts. We're trying to teach them basic knowledge. Um, uh, but, but more than anything, what we really want to teach them is, is how to learn and how to, to recognize the situations when they don't know everything they want to know and how to go and get that information, uh, how to have the emotional maturity to handle um, you know, things that don't go the way we want and, and to be gracious about it, how to, um, to compete, how to be good, um, how to have good sportsmanship. Um, and because there's a little bit of a contest set up this week, that might be relevant uh, and something to remind um, our, our, our students, your students, about um, how they work. And then beyond that, 
um, for, for the kids who, who want to, to, to talk more specifics, you know, maybe after this, this time, maybe um, after foundations is over or, or in whatever venue you have, you, know, you could talk about the specific things. Like what was your favorite experiment that we did this year? Help you help and encourage your students if time allows and the format is there to reflect themselves. What kinds of things have we learned? And you can remind them about all the basic grammar that, they, that they've been learning and sort of how it applies to specific experiments or just, just encourage them to share uh, their own memories and their own joy. It encourages that feeling. And then remind them as they're, as they're going out um, into summertime or, or into the rest of their, their education, whatever form that takes, that, um, that God's world is all around us uh, and they can continue to learn and continue to explore it um, as much as they want. Uh, science truly is uh, fun. It is my passion, um, and and it's just a lot of fun um, to get our hands uh, messy and, and and to do science together and to have fun uh, while we're doing it. And that's uh, that's the message that I would leave with you. That's the message that for cycle two I would leave uh, uh, with your students as well. This is cycle two, week twenty four, science.